feel like we were just due for a little get ready with me, you and me. Settle in, stick around. We're gonna go from this to this. Here we are. So we have About Face products, which I've been wanting to try. I have this matte shadow in Cloned, which is a dark, like, chestnut color. I have the mic right here, so you're probably gonna, we're gonna make it an ASMR, babe. This is a first impression. I also have a lip shade from them that's matte lip cuts, a lot of mattes in shade Baby's Arms. Okay. This was an impulse buy. That was ridiculous. I got another round of the Miracle Balm. I know. I know. I know. You, well, you don't know. You might know how I feel about it, but Jones Road Miracle Balm. I had the Dusty Rose before, and I had thoughts, and I have a full review on it, and it happens to be one of the most popular reviews over here. I have this now in Magic Hour, which is more of a bronzy shade, which as you know is like my jam. And the last product that we're gonna be testing for a review coming, not this week, but next week, the House Labs Concealer. Let's talk. I have a little bit of face cream on right now. It's okay. I haven't used this in a long time. This is the Sun Tegrity Impeccable Skin. Everything that I mentioned will be linked below. It's just so creamy and velvety and it gives great coverage and I forgot about it. So I just thought it would be a good time to remind you that fewer better is my approach. Finding your fewer better favorites. Hopefully these reviews that I post on this channel help you to do that. You don't have to buy anything that I'm using today, promise. What helps support the channel and keep it going? Little things like hitting the like button. You don't even have to buy anything, just hit that like button. Leave a comment, that also really helps with engagement. See, oh, it's so good and I forgot about it. It's on the pricey side, but I really like it. So what I'm gonna try doing is applying it to the different points of the face as opposed to just covering the whole face with the product. I just think it's gonna be too much for me. And it does have some shimmery, glittery flecks. I know a lot of you are like, no thank you, no ma'am. I just can feel it. I can feel you saying it. In order to get that to pop, I'm going to blur the skin a little bit with my Juice Beauty, because I love it. It's a great equalizer. What? I don't know. Just go with it. Glorious, gorgeous. On my Brits Picks. Has been for a while. What is Brits Picks, that you ask? If you're new here, out of the thousands of products that I've tried, my top 20 favorites of the bunch. Let's put, let's put our hair back, shall we? All right, let's dig into the concealer. Now this has been very impressive for a few weeks now. Very little bit needed. I have found that a brush is not the way for me. Pressing it in with fingers seems to be my jam. And then it's thicker, not thicker. It's rich. It's not like the slip across your eyes thing. One of my other favorites is Iris and Romeo, as you know. A little bit more slide with that. But what's crazy about this is this is in shade Peach 05. This does not crease a lot. I cannot use my current Iris and Romeo, it is expired. So I was testing the new Kulfi concealer. You're gonna see that solo review soon. Something tells me this is gonna be a contender. So I wanted to test it for the Kulfi concealer review that's going out this week. She's awake. She's awake and alive. Got that going for you. Part of me wants to set, but I don't really have to, so I won't for now. This stuff looks pretty intense. I'm all nervous. Now. You could use this as a liner. I'm not gonna do that right now. I don't think I have a steady enough hand, so I'm just gonna take the doe foot. There's plenty of product on it. I also wanted to test it against the Ami Cole Lid Joy, which was really cool looking, but man, the packaging was very underwhelming. So I, I feel like this is gonna be, let's just try. Oh, about face is, oh boy. Wow, known for their pigment. Hiya. I really like the Gen C Reef shade in Peach. I've yet to buy their browns or their metallics. I was kind of hoping they might gift them to me. There was a lot of chatter about this brand. It's Holdy's brand, so it's a celebrity repped brand. But I like what they're doing. Do I wish the packaging was more eco-friendly? Sure. 
This was more of a, I want to compare this to something else purchase. Probably going to have to like pull back on these because I really don't want more plastic. But sometimes I just, I'm human and I'm weak. And that's what happened. Wow. Wow. wow, wow, wow. This is fun. Okay. I love when makeup is just, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on and it's nice to remember makeup being fun. I'm loving it. I don't know what you think, but I am loving it. Wow. Also just did a concealer check. Concealer's fine. This is, this is turning into a bit of a glam look for me. We all know I don't go full glam. Hmm. I think I just want to do a quick powder. It's still a little shiny. Great. So this is the Lily Lolo loose powder foundation, which nobody ever talks about powder foundations anymore. I don't know when they got uncool, but they're cool to me. There we go. A little mattify, a little bit. This is like a very matte look ish. The powder is getting everywhere. That's exciting. Mm. Okay, let's try the Jones Road. We're gonna just pop it on the face. I'm just hi highlighting. Where are you? It's barely showing up for me. Oh boy. Well, I'm going to let you determine my thoughts by my reaction and my facial expressions. I wouldn't use it as a bronzer. It's not meant to be used as a bronzer. That was the other thing. I actually have their gel bronzer here, which I did solo review this week as well. You're going to see that coming up. So I like a bronze. That's what's interesting about the Miracle Balm, by the way. There's really nothing like it. And you're like, wow, there's really nothing like it. And then you think about it and you're like, maybe there's a reason there's nothing like it. I don't know. People really love it. I think I've just gotten the shades wrong and I'm not willing to try all of them out, even though I did love that they had the minis available during the holidays. It was still $65, right? It was up there. So, you know. I liked that you could try them. Frankly, I would just love the mini. I don't even need that whole tub. What am I gonna do with that whole tub? I was looking around to compare because that's a huge part of how I can tell whether or not something's gonna go on my Brits Picks or not. And I compared it to my favorite and I didn't have anything like it on Brits Picks. And I'm looking up face balms. Oleo and Osso is a great brand I haven't featured here in forever but they had a balm. There's Makeup Revolution, which is not a clean beauty brand, but they have something as a dupe, air quote dupe that people are talking about. There's not a lot like it. I don't know what, this is gonna be a long test again, but I, I will do an update. I think I still have the Dusty Rose, but that's, <laughs> that, that's definitely expired at this point. So the gel is really nice. It's very lightweight, it's the opposite. Like I can still feel it. I can feel it. So anyway, I distracted myself. The gel is really lightweight and does not feel like anything heavy on your face. I'm just going in with some Ilia powder just to sort of, it's the stickiness factor is getting to me a little. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't need the bronze. I just, this is what I, I don't know. I just picked it. It's just what I went with. Go with your gut. Verdict, a little shaky on that one. Now let's finish it off. That was kind of fast. Put the about face in baby arm, baby's arms, baby's arms, running into a baby's arms. Why not? It's a little triangle guy. Blue is not enthused. She's turned away. Ooh, very light, lightweight. Also very light color. Huh. So lightweight. Kind of a citrusy scent. What do you think? It's also an interesting applicator. It's very pointy at the end. So I don't feel like I need anything else to help correct it. The lip line, it dried down real fast. So did the eyes. Wow, that was really fast. So this will be interesting to see if it's drying feeling. Oh my God. I have had a poppy seed in my mouth this whole time and I've been filming multiple videos. Great, great. That's just dry. That's just, it's not drying. It's just dried down. Well, there you go. Still getting a lot of glow. Let's do some Flavado and Albedo on the cheeks. That's a lot. That was a lot. 
That was heavy handed for me. Wake up. Wake up the jigs. Done and done, hon. Wow. That is a vibrant color. What is that? I keep looking at, that's really bad. I probably have looked way more at the viewfinder than I should have on this video because I, that's a good sign though, because I'm like, wow, the pigment is beautiful. I think I'm gonna want something on top of it. Like I feel the need for a little bit of, here she is, the Flavado. That's a little something. Surprisingly a small amount, it really is kind of hydrating stuff. Also testing different hair dryers for you. I've talked about that before and I never did anything, so I'm finally doing it. Finally. Okay, well, and the concealer's creasing. So, a little 14E action. There you have it. What do we think? What are our thoughts? Let me know your thoughts on the newbies that I tried. The About Faces is... <laughs> Foundation's everywhere. Let me know your thoughts on the About Face. First impressions of that lip. And the House Labs Concealer. Not too dry. Not too dry. Not feeling too dry. I wish you an amazing rest of your weekend. Sending you lots of love. And I'll see you right back here real soon.